Hey, the fans are back here at AT&T Training Camp. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Archer. Yes, the fans were back, and boy, you could hear them. 1,700 strong, braving the hot, steamy weather here in Georgia as they came out to watch the Atlanta Falcons practice. In fact, Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith both addressed the fans prior to practice, and at the end of practice, really cool moment as the players ran over to the end of the field where the hill is here and waved and said hello, threw some stuff up into the crowd, and acknowledged that their fans are back with them. Let's get to practice, and there's some guys that stuck out of practice. How about the number one draft pick, Kyle Pitts? Kyle was outstanding today, made a number of good catches and almost made a circus catch on a throw down the middle behind him. I think we're going to see that from him, the big-time tight end out of Florida. How about, as well, Michael Walker, another guy I think you're going to see. He had 16 games under his belt a year ago, six starts, but I think you're going to see more of number 43 flying around the field, bigger, stronger version of a linebacker in that Dean Pease defense. And then how about a hidden gem? Austin Trammell, a kid you've never heard of before probably, played at Rice, only played three games a year ago because of injury, 16 catches, six of those went for touchdowns. This is a kid that has great short area quickness. Look for him to make some impact. Talk to Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan says, hey, fun guy to watch play, no question about it. And how about the accountability? We heard about that from the coaches when they first came on the scene. You make a mistake here, you're running a lap. And as an offensive lineman, you don't want to be running a lapse. There's accountability here with the coaching staff right here at AT&T Training Camp.